Howdy y'all, Neshi Nick Angtel here. Weak hands got you down? What if I told you you can make those weak hands into an extra link combo, complete with Trigate, Griffin, and a macro? Sound too good to be true? Let me sweeten the deal for you and show you how to do it. This here is Crystal Beast Extra Link, and Rainbow Ruins Lock at the end. Let's go ahead and jump into the replay. So you look at this hand, Tree Bond Ruins. You see, you're like, all right, tree bond, I know that gives us four crystals in the back row, and then ruins probably get us a draw, see if we can draw into an extender like that. Fortunately, we don't have an extender, right? Hopefully, we'll, we could just draw into a beacon or something, that would be awesome. But let me show you how we could actually turn this into the extra link combo. Pretty insane, isn't it? So, gonna start by activating tree and then bond at like the usual combo. Crystal, we're going to put Zenith in the back row. Crystal Tree is going to gain a Crystal Fruit. And then we're going to normal summon our Pegasus. Pegasus is going to put another one. And then Crystal Tree gains another Crystal Fruit. From here, we're going to use Zenith's effect, actually. You might be like, huh, well, if we do that, then we won't be able to have four in the back row to draw off ruins. Well, let me show you something pretty sweet. We're going to summon one of, the, one of our Earth Beasts. We have three of them. And the worst one being Amethyst Cat, so we're going to go ahead and get this out of our deck. Hey Nick, why are we playing Amethyst Cat? Isn't it really bad? Well, we're actually going to be summoning Rainbow Dragon in this video. Isn't that crazy? Rainbow Dragon is actually part of the combo in this. So I'm going to show you how. We're going to link these two into Union Carrier. Union Carrier is going to equip a Crystal Beast from deck. This happens to be Light. You could also equip Carbuncle to Union Carrier. And that'll give us another crystal fruit on our crystal tree. Now that it has three fruits, we can fill up our back row with a ruby, pegasus, and tiger. Look at that. We have five in our back row. We can use the final effect of rainbow ruins in order to summon out ruby. And ain't that sweet. Ruins is going to go ahead and draw us a card. Might as well since we have four. Then we're going to special summon our ruby from the back row. And then special summon the rest. Now it's important that... We have Topaz Tiger here as an Earth, and you'll see why. We're going to activate both Pegasus's effects and give us two Crystal Beasts to our back row. Overlay into Granite. Granite giving us Block Dragon. Overlay this thing, Vespinate. Pretty much you just overlay this onto any rank four and it gives it piercing, but we're just using it just so we have another Earth engraved for Block Dragon. Then we're going to link those into Ausa. And then Link Cross. Link Cross giving us only one token, unfortunately, because we have not enough zones for this combo to work. Next, now that we have seven Crystal Beasts with different names, we can go ahead and special summon our Rainbow Dragon. Check it out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the Amethyst Cat. Now this is where it gets pretty interesting. We have a Light Cybers, a Light Dragon, and a light fairy. This gives us Curious. Curious can go ahead and dump one of the most broken cards in the game, Macro Cosmos. Pretty much can end anyone's turn. Then going to mill three random cards, banish our Alsa, Granite, and Vespinate for Block Dragon. Link Block Dragon and Curious into Griffin. We're going to chain block here, activate Block Dragon as chain link one, Griffin as chain link two. Discard the card that we drew off of rainbow ruins to set macro to our back row and then we're going to add three from block dragon and griffin is actually going to net us another draw since it's co-linked we'll use that discard later on next we're going to banish our amethyst cat to summon gigantes and then now that we have a rock we can special summon researcher and now that we have an adamancipator we can special summon seeker from our hand and then we can link Researcher and the Link Token into Martial Model Marcher, bringing back our Researcher, linking into Proxy Dragon. And then here we go into Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax is going to summon out Jet Synchron, and then Banish for Block Dragon, link into Trigate, link Jet Synchron into Link Karibo, link that into Secure Gardena. And from here, we actually need to run a second Link Karibo. I know that's kind of ghetto, but we need to be able to, if we used Link Karibo's effect to summon itself from the graveyard by tributing 
jet sink ground we actually won't be able to put it in the extra monster zone so we do need another link karibo here just like that and with that we have one of the craziest boards for crystal bees just off of three cards three cards not really an extender rainbow ruins acts as a pretty awesome extender for crystal bees unfortunately we don't have a way to search it you know it's not a crystal card which is really lame so you can't search it off of rainbow bridge the only way you could really search it is off of the generic fields while searching cards like terraforming metaverse but yeah we have trigate giving us one negate and a banish during our turn and then proxy dragon can destroy any one of these to protect ourselves we won't really be using that effect but nightmare griffin being a skill drain is incredible you know we have a skill drain trigate and macro that was the extra link replay i'm actually going to show you a way that we can do this in pure crystal beast without running any of these engines uh it's not going to be the extra link but it's just going to be a rainbow ruins lock so here we are we're having the same three cards in our hand we're going to show you my signature combo, the Rainbow Ruins Lock. We're going to start pretty much by doing the same thing as we did last duel. Activating Tree Bond, getting Zenith, and then Normal Summoning the Pegasus. Crystal Tree is going to gain two Crystal Fruits. Going to Banish Zenith, Summon Cat. Summon out our Union Carrier, equip it with Zenith. Crystal Tree, now that it has three Fruits, puts three in the back row. It's important that we put Tortoise here, actually, and I'll show you why later. It's a pretty cute interaction going to special summon ruby off of ruins then same thing as before going to put pegasus both of them there and then fill up our back row with three and then from here you might see where this is going we could actually make the rainbow ruins lock right here overlay those into baguska and here it is we have baguska being a skill drain and then rainbow ruins its third effect while it has while you have three crystal beasts in the back row, you can negate, not once per turn, any spell or trap card just by tributing a crystal beast monster you control. So we have two spell trap negates and a baguska. It's going to be very difficult to out this board. And let me show you the interaction with tortoise and baguska. So we could actually switch baguska to attack mode we could actually summon Rainbow Dragon from our hand since we have seven Crystal Beasts. We could attack with everyone. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to finish off our opponent. But in main phase two, Tortoise has an effect where you can target one monster you control who declared an attack this turn, switch him to defense position. We're going to switch our Baguska to defense position, putting us back in the Crystal Beast Rainbow Ruins lock. So that's a cute little interaction. That's why Tortoise is pretty cool in this deck. And it kind of reminds you of my Metal Foes list with Boral Guard Dragon, huh? We're going to finish it off with Ruby in the end, of course. That's the combo. Honestly, if I were to choose between these two, I wouldn't make a list dedicated to the Extra Link combo because that just requires so many engines and so many Garnets that I don't think it would be very viable in a deck. And if you saw during the replay, we used every single card in our extra deck in order to pull the combo off. We only had one card left in our extra deck, so only having one staple card and the rest being dedicated to the combo doesn't seem very strong. But this deck, I can definitely see us incorporating the Union Carrier in Pure Crystal Beast, just because then we can do the Rainbow Ruins lock. What would be awesome is if we had a Link 1 that searched out Rainbow Ruins. <laughs> That's the dream, right? But fortunately we don't, so it is a three card combo. But still, I'm pretty satisfied with this being the combo. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe for more of this crystal content. You know, I'm going to be trying to be uploading more some of these crazy combos that me and Kwanzi and Terrence come up with. You know, we're always chatting in the Crystal Beast Facebook group. So come and join us if you want to come down and see what the spice is all about. I'll see you in the next video.